The Epic Fundraiser: Myth, Psychology, and the Universal Hero Story in Fundraising. Introduction: What is fundraising selling? The story that enhances identity. Selling nothing. Fundraisers work in sales. Okay, but then what exactly do fundraisers sell? One shared this. My then boyfriend, who worked in sales, told his colleagues, admiringly, I think, that Beth makes a living out of selling nothing. <laughs> Although misguided, this comment points to an important question: What exactly do fundraisers sell? This can be a tricky question, even in simple product sales. Suppose we sell drills. People buy a drill. Because they want to drill, right? Not really. The saying goes, "No one wants a drill. What they want is the hole." The question goes further. People don't actually want holes. Holes aren't the benefit. They want shelves hung in the garage. They want a deck on their house. Shelves and decks require holes. Making holes requires a drill. What drives a sale is the benefit, not the product. Understanding what we're selling means understanding the benefit. What about fundraising? What benefit do donors get? What do fundraisers sell? If fundraisers are selling something, what is it? There are many popular answers. We sell the mission. We sell the organization. We sell the cause. We sell sponsorships. We sell impact. Each of these can be important. Each can be part of the story. But unless they benefit the donor, they aren't what the fundraiser is selling. What does the donor walk away with in the end? What is the ultimate benefit to the donor from the gift? What benefit is the fundraiser selling? It is one thing. It is an enhanced identity. It can be private. This delivers internal meaning. It can be public. This delivers external reputation. Identity enhancement in the mono myth. One sentence sums up the fundraising advice in this book: advance the donor's hero story. Doing this delivers an enhanced identity. This works because the hero's journey is an identity enhancement process. The universal hero story is called the mono myth. It includes specific steps. The hero one begins in the ordinary world. Two is faced with a challenge, the call to adventure. Three. Rejects, then accepts the call and enters the new world. Four, undergoes ordeals and overcomes an enemy. Five, gains a reward or transformation, and six, returns to the place of beginning with a gift to improve that world. Through these steps, the hero's story progresses through original identity. Step one, links to challenge. Steps two, three, and four links to victory. Steps four and five links to enhanced identity. Steps five and six. Original identity. The journey starts at the source of original identity. This is the hero's home, people, and values. In the narrative arc, this is backstory and setting. Challenge. A challenge forces a decision in response to a threat or an opportunity. The threat or opportunity affects the hero's home, people, or values. The challenge motivates action with the hope of victory. It launches the hero's journey. In the narrative arc, this is the inciting incident. Victory. After facing ordeals, the hero is victorious. The hero gains a reward or transformation. In the narrative arc, this is the climax. Enhanced identity. The journey results in a new identity.
the main character becomes a victorious hero. This identity can be internal, private, and or external, public. The hero returns with a gift to benefit the original world. The journey ends where it started. But now the original world and the original identity have been improved. In the narrative arc, this is the resolution. In three words, the monomyth cycle is identity, links to challenge, links to victory, links to identity. Identity enhancement in fundraising. These are not just steps in the hero's journey. These are elements for the ideal donor experience. A heroic donation matches the monomyth cycle. It is a sacrificial gift that protects the donor's people and values in a crisis. This links challenge, identity, and victory. Challenge, a sacrificial gift in a crisis. Victory, that protects identity, the donor's people and values. Each step comes from the previous one. Each results in the next. A challenge forces a decision in response to a crisis, a threat, or opportunity. In fundraising, the challenge is to make a sacrificial gift. This challenge must link back to the donor's identity. Identity comes from one's people, values, and life story. The challenge responds to a threat or opportunity, but it should be a threat or opportunity for the donor's people or values. The challenge should originate in the donor's identity. The challenge must also promise the hope of a victory. The promised victory results in protecting the donor's people or values. It enhances the donor's identity. The donor becomes a hero. The donor becomes a sacrificial protector of his people and values. This new status might be private, delivering personal meaning. It might be public, enhancing reputation. It might be both. The effective challenge promises this full story cycle. It links to the donor's original identity, victory, and enhanced identity. The ideal donor experience completes this story cycle. It results in an enhanced identity for the donor. This story requires connecting with the donor's identity. Does this mean the story's main character must be the donor? No, although that strategy works. It means the donor must identify with the story's characters or values. The story's characters must be, in some important way, like the donor. The story's values must be like the donor's values. This turns a story into the donor's story. The value of a pole star. Isn't calling a donation heroic a bit much? Does writing a $20 check have to be an epic event? Of course not. So why focus on the heroic donation? Because it is the ideal. Understanding the ideal is important. It's like having a compass. A compass is useful even if we aren't going all the way to the North Pole. Understanding the heroic donation is like knowing which way is north. As a giving opportunity moves closer to this heroic ideal, it becomes more compelling. No, the $20 donation request doesn't have to be epic. But the closer it moves to being heroic, the more compelling it is. The heroic donation gives true north for fundraising. Heroism as a journey, not a jump. Not all heroism occurs in a single instant. Heroism can include years of steady, quiet effort. The accumulation of small acts can build a compelling hero story. Thus, neither heroism nor the donor's hero story is limited to the elite few. The goal is to 
advance the donor's hero story. A gift may be just one small step in that journey. But if we know the destination, each step will lead in the right direction. Experimental Research in Fundraising Not every donation must rise to the heroic level, but the pattern still fits. A compelling ask may not be heroic, but it will be a step in that direction. It will fit the pattern. It will have the elements of identity, links to challenge, links to victory, links back to identity. Original Identity This step connects the gift with the donor's people, values, and life story. These form the donor's original world. They are the donor's sources of identity. This isn't just a matter of literary speculation. It's what happens in experimental research. Giving increases when reminders highlight connections between the donor's life story and the gift the donor and the values supported by the gift, or the donor and the people supported by the gift, including the beneficiaries, those the charity helps, the intermediaries, the charity, its fundraisers or administrators, or other supporters, other donors or advocates. Challenge. A compelling challenge forces a decision in response to a threat or opportunity. The threat or opportunity affects the donor's people or values. In other words, the challenge links back to identity. The challenge promises protection for those people or values. In other words, the challenge links forward to a victory that links to identity. These links appear in experimental results. A challenge forces a decision. In fundraising, the ask is the challenge. The ask forces a decision. In experiments, asking increases donations. Asking works. In other words, giving increases when there is a challenge. Giving also increases when the challenge addresses a threat or opportunity for the donor's people or values. This happens with an external threat attacking the donor's people or values, or an internal threat of personally violating norms of the donor's people or values. Victory. Giving increases when the challenge promises a victory. This works when the gift promises a specific, visualizable result. This fails when the impact is vague or the problem is overwhelming. Enhanced identity. Identity enhancement is the ultimate goal. It's the fundamental value provided to donors. It's the warm glow from a gift. It's the source of donor happiness. In experiments, it increases donations. This works with external identity, delivering public reputation. It also works with internal identity, delivering personal meaning. Conclusion Clever fundraising tricks can work, but mostly... They work once. After all the tricks and traps, either the donor experience was worth the gift or it wasn't. Sustained success requires delivering real value. Fundraisers can do this. They can deliver real value to the donor. The ultimate value to the donor from fundraising is enhanced identity. But this benefit comes at the end of the journey. It requires each step to make it work. If any step is weak or missing, the outcome will also be weak or missing. Understanding this explains much of what works and what doesn't in fundraising.